What's up, Puma Nation? I am, of course, CM Puma, and today we are talking a little bit WWE 2K18. Now, yesterday, September 13th, WWE 2K released three things that are new to us so far, and we're going to talk about them right now. So the first thing is they released two more playable characters, the first being the chairman and CEO of WWE, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon, WWE tweeted out, every other superstar on WWE 2K18 roster officially has no chance in hell of defeating Vince McMahon. So, how many people are going to actually play with Vince McMahon? I don't know, but it's very cool that he's in the game, seeing as we haven't seen a lot of him uh, throughout this year so far. So, we've got Vince McMahon, we got Shane McMahon, and we got Stephanie McMahon. I doubt we'll ever see a Linda McMahon, but hey, you never know. The second thing they posted out yesterday for Defy Superstition Day, WWE 2K18 and WWE Games released this picture of Papa Shango. Now, if you're not familiar who Papa Shango is, he was or he played the Godfather as well and the Good Father in Right to Censor. But WWE Games tweeted out, Happy hashtag Defy Superstition Day. What a great time to announce that hashtag Papa Shango is playable in WWE 2K18. So they released two more people uh, that weren't on the official roster, or the official release roster, I should say. So that's cool. We got two more guys that we can play with and at least use um, entrance stuff, music, and their moves. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is my career mode. They released uh, an article yesterday about my career mode, and we've got a couple of screenshots with it. Now, before we dive into the details, I'm going to take a look at some of these screenshots. So the first one, um, it looks like they're backstage. Um, this created superstar is talking to Jason Albert in the uh, backstage area, but he now goes by um, Matt Bloom, I believe is his real name. So you're backstage. He's got on a WWE Performance Center t-shirt, and you have the option here to talk to him. Now, a couple of things I want to point out in this video it looks like he's holding a phone or some sort, so he could be communicating with some other people. Um, in the top left, it says, Exit Arena by talking to the parking lot attendant. Now, is Albert here the parking lot attendant? Is the parking lot attendant this guy in the blue? He could be a referee. Um, we're not totally sure, but this gives us two things. This re uh, reveals two things. One, we can exit the arena, and two, we can get probably out into the parking lot if we can speak to that parking lot attendant. So... Um, a lot of good information in this particular one. There's some, uh, looks like a soda machine back there and a couple of crates you can maybe bash some folks into while you're backstage roaming. We'll get more into that. The second screenshot we're looking at, our creative character is backstage and it looks like he is with a seamstress who is uh, designing and creating attires. Now, if this is how we're going to be able to upgrade our character or... Uh, update our character with different attires and different things. It looks like this is the person to talk to. Um, I would figure you would talk to this person and then go into like a create menu and do it there. We see a green screen there in the background, which is most likely used for interviews. And uh, we see a hallway there just to the right of the seamstress who, are, who this created character is speaking with. So we got uh, confirmation of exiting the arena and going in the parking lot. And we have confirmation of being able to create attires within it, within my career mode, in a possibly new and different way than we have before. So getting into um, some of the details of the 2K my career mode. Now the story mode, or the my career mode, I guess I should say, in 2K17 is broken. Um, I've seen a few players get pretty far, but personally, no matter what I was doing. I wasn't able to progress. But now there's going to be different things for us to do. There's going to be your story. And then there's even going to be some side missions. I'll say quote unquote missions that we can do to further or just to uh, gain access to certain perks and things like this. So there's two paths you're going to be able to take during this uh, My Career Mode. You can be a company man who is um, available to the GM to do anything that that GM is asking, as long if it's uh, you know working with that GM to figure out how to run the show, if it's attacking a superstar in the locker room or in an interview, basically doing whatever the GM is asking you to do, 
Um, when you do that and you help the GM succeed, it says you'll gain access to awesome upgrades such as the ability to orchestrate a run-in to help you win a match, and you can also access Vince McMahon's office to lobby for match card changes and title rematches. So if you're working with the GM, say it's Kurt Angle, you're working with Mr. Angle on doing something here, you're, you can orchestrate a run-in and say CM Puma, he has um, another masked superstar, Big Red NY or Callisto or Sin Cara, he needs some help. He's going to orchestrate that run in, and those guys are going to come down and help out CM Puma. Now, the second path you can take is called Fan Favorite, which basically means you work for the uh, WWE Universe and not the GM, not the authority, things like that. So, what you're about, it says, is putting on the best matches and promos. Promos we'll get into in just a little bit, but right now you have a Locker room and backstage full, uh, says WWE Superstars and Legends, which I think is awesome that the Legends will be back there. Um, this is earning respect. You go out, you do your job, you do it well, and everybody uh, shows you that respect and says, this guy, he's the real deal. He is all about the fans and, and doing what's right out in the ring instead of just taking the easy way, I'll say the easy way, and working for the GM and doing his bidding. Now, if you do what um, is necessary, you do all the, I'm assuming, the different uh, the different choices of what you're able to do, the Legends will start giving you respect, and it says in-ring bonuses for your matches and promos. If you become the complete package, like Stone Cold or John Cena, you will be able to customize your own WWE Championship or Universal Championship. That, to me is fantastic you get side plates you might be able to make it glow like no me no, no Mina, naomi you might be able to make it spin like john cena um or have smoking skulls like stone cold who knows what that actually means but that sounds amazing now they have brought back free roaming in the backstage area now i want to say that free roam was last in a wwe game in uh, I want to say SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Well, now you can do this in 2K18. There will be people in the backstage area, superstars, legends, GMs, apparel tailors like we talked earlier, the seamstress there that will help with attire, and uh, different interactions that will separate side quests from the main storylines. So they're not really going to affect your road to WrestleMania or affect anything how you're moving forward, but... It, uh, it seems like maybe you can get some bonuses and things like that when you complete these little side missions. Hey, somebody's in the backstage area uh, interviewing with Renee Young. You don't like that person. You go attack that person. So that is the next thing is updated promos. Now, in the last game, if your promo uh, mic performance wasn't up to 100, you had no idea what kind of crowd you were facing and how to work that crowd to get the best possible uh, promo. And what this uh, this updated promo section is saying, when we got that promo thing, that hey, that's a cool addition to 2K17. That's awesome. But if you don't know the direction you're going, then your promos are all over the place, and it goes up and down with the crowd and all that. Well, now you can stick with a theme. If you're going to go out there and you're going to trash talk your opponent, you will trash talk your opponent instead of trying to pick what's going to get you the highest rating. Um, they also included a lot of different animations for people like The Undertaker and Enzo and Bray Wyatt and things like that, The New Day, um, that will seem more realistic while they're doing their promo instead of everybody coming down to the ring in the exact same way. Now, instead of scoring the highest value, they are putting more emphasis on the cohesion of the promo. Things will be able to seamlessly go together and... Uh, seems to be help would help you out a lot more in this updated promo. Now, the last thing we uh, see here in this article is the My Career Invasion. That was probably one of my favorite things about my career in 2K17, and I believe it might have been in 16 also, where if you, people on your friends list have their created guys, they show up in your My Career, and you can start rivals with them, you can face them, um, I faced off against Big Red NY a couple of times, um, but this one is goes the next step. It goes a little further. This year, you'll be able to see those guys and those created characters, Big Red NY, Pulse, Chris Danger. They are going to be 
backstage along with those WWE superstars and legends. So you can go up to seeing Puma, start a tag team with Puma, start a rivalry with Puma, just attack him to attack him just for whatever reason. It, it, it That's amazing to me. So we got a lot of new My Career stuff today, or, or yesterday I should say, and then we got those two new characters, Vince McMahon and Papa Shango. So some of my favorite things that uh, were talked about in this is the two different paths you'd be able to take, Company Man and Fan, fan Favorite. I'm, I don't know how that's going to work uh, on my channel. Do I go through the Company Man one and then start over as a Fan Favorite? Do I have two different characters and two different uh, My Careers, one with each? I don't know how that's going to work out, but I am interested. Uh, fan Favorite probably more so because you can create that own, your own customized championship. That's really good to me. Um the backstage free roam where you can run up to superstars or uh, Renee Young or the tailor that can uh, update your attire. That's probably one of my more favorite things. The promo I never really got into in the last game in 2K17. Um, but this makes me feel like I could get into it and it would be a lot easier and a lot better to go through. And then, of course, the invasion where the, uh, your friends list created wrestlers will be in the backstage area and will be more integrated into my career. That is just awesome to me. So um, I personally got the Seen Enough edition for the PS4 and just the Deluxe edition for the Xbox One. I didn't need two Seen Enough editions. but So this year again, we will have an Xbox One and a PS4 version of the game. So we will be on both systems, and I'm pretty pumped about that. So a lot of good stuff coming out of... Uh, WWE Games camp yesterday. We'll see what comes out today. And moving forward, we are not that far away, guys. I want to say uh, we're about 30 days out, 30, 29 days out from that October 13th early release uh, play period. So it's getting close, folks. It's getting close. So thank you for uh, checking out this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And come back for more. We got Lucha Libre AAA. We got 2K17 Universe Mode. Maybe a couple other games mixed in here and there until release date. So, I have been seeing Puma. I'm out.